center, and he always gives me a hard time about the time when I was in high school, and he took my family out on the boat, and uh, all the antics that ensued, and all the people that fell in the water. Um, but imagine for a moment that I had a sailboat, and I were to go out sailing, and I invited you to come out sailing with me one day. You'd probably think, okay, I didn't realize Father went sailing. And you come to the harbor, and you see me on my boat, and uh, you get in, and I say, okay, let's, let's ship out. And I raise the sail off the mast, about one foot off the mast. You're probably thinking, okay, that doesn't look right. And then I start to blow into the mast to propel the ship. You'd probably be thinking, Father, don't you want to hoist the mast all the way so that the wind can propel us? No, 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 no. I'm sailing this boat. Right? You're probably thinking, what's going on? And then maybe eventually we drift off to sea, and let's say that the storm comes in, and wind's beating us down, rain's beating us down, and I say, okay, don't worry, I know what to do. And I grab the anchor, and I think, okay, wait, he does know what he does. I go to the front of the ship and I put the anchor down on, on the deck. Obviously nothing would happen. I take the anchor, I go to the back of the ship, and I put it down on the, on the back of the ship on the deck there, on the stern. And you're thinking, well, what, what's he doing? I think, okay, the, the ship's still bouncing on the waves. I take the anchor and I, I put it on the sail. At this point, I think out of fear and and frustration, you would take the anchor yourself, and you would throw it into the water, and you'd say, Father, what are you thinking? You can't anchor it to yourself, you've got to anchor it into the deep sea. Why do I bring this up? Because the truth is that in life, when the unexpected happens, um, when challenges come our way, a lot of times we try to anchor to ourselves. We try to rely on what we plan, what we know, and what we have. And there will be times in our lives where those things will prove to be insufficient. And the question is, what do we do then? Well, that's why we offer these services like the salutation to the Theotokos. Because we know that we can anchor into something deeper, something greater than ourselves. Consider this next time that we feel like we are sinking down, drowning in difficulties. Even in the hymn Tiper Maho, we call the Theotokos the mighty defender, the rescuer, the deliverer, who possesses invincible power, who is victorious, Later on, at the end of the service, we say, The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Trinity is my protection, Holy Trinity, glory to you. Now, which one of these would we rather cast our anchor onto? This is why, in the service, we juxtapose uh, the condition and nature of our souls and we talk about the hardship and the service, but then in the same breath we say, rejoice. We rejoice because we are not alone in this. We have each other, we have the host of saints, we have our Theotokos, and we have our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have all of this in our tradition of the church, and so we know that we are never alone. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 